application statement? Sure. Thank you. Well. B. Oh, I see. Okay. Apologies. To support the evolving needs of the MSU Denver students by advocating in their best interest to enhance the university experience and opportunities. Aye. Aye. Any, any abstentions? You want to close this? Beautiful. Take attendance. You want to start well? William Coates, present. Uh, Michael Warner, present. John Nelson, present. Danny Palacios, present. Matthew Rathbun, present. Rebarco, here. Naomi in the chat. Yeah. Naomi, type in the chat. Uh, they're here. Houston's here, right? Go ahead, Thomas. Thomas, here. Thank you. Kristen Nearbarth, sure. here. Okay. I think that's it. Awesome. <laughs> okay. That was cool. Um, we have, we're going to vote the approval of the agenda. Everybody looked at the agenda. Everyone's cool. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, everybody. Um, cool. Thomas has his hand. Go, Thomas. Well, Thomas, do you want to talk? Yeah, real quick. Um, I'm the uh, representative for the uh, the university budget uh, committee, so I uh, we met um, today, so I think that we should uh, add me into the board and committee announcements. We'll do. With Alejandro. Okay. Yeah. He's just. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's a different budget. Okay. Committee. It's a different budget committee. My apologies. I am uh, I am representing UPAC, so UP BAC. That's for the uh, the campus and not the uh, the budget yeah. of our committee. Awesome. We'll have you during open floor. Thank you. Um. Okay. Everybody who agrees with the approval of the agenda, say aye. Aye. Any. Aye. Anyone oppose this? Any abstentions? Any classes? Okay, let's start with our board and community announcements. Mike. Thank you. Um, and I have a statement I'd like to read out actually. I would write down here if you don't mind my announcement. For your announcement? Yes. Of course. So, <clears throat> um, in terms of board stuff, that's next week. So, um, that's when my board uh, trustees meeting is. So, uh, I'll keep you all tuned then. I'm excited for my first meeting, so it should be super fun. Uh, this announcement, or like my statement here, comes from a different reason. I feel like I need to bring it up today, so I'm um, just read it forward. Um, I really want to give a huge shout out to the amazing and dedicated staff and professionals of CMI. These individuals are some of the most passionate people at our campus. They truly care about the student experience, and as someone who, um, as someone who moved here about a year ago uh, from Denver, um, far away from my family, I'm happy to call them my family. The reason I bring this up because is because I felt that my family has been accosted and attacked over the past few weeks. They've been bullied and taken advantage of, and I think it's not right. They've been called groomers and liars unjustly, and I am sick and tired of it. I want to thank the professional staff of CMAI for their hard work and dedication. We here at Student Government thank you for having our backs and know this, we have your back. So with that, I'm going to just thank each of the directors there. So um, the Dean, Assistant Dean Director, Tan Nguyen, thank you so much. Shiwon Long, thank you. Diane Swall is the Office Manager. Ni Deng, the Associate Director for Equity and Racial Justice Programs. Um, Dave Barasa, Student Travel and Professional Development Director. We have said Word Law events and community activities. Tony Aho, Student Leadership and Equity. Armando Rio, our also uh, advisor for FSL and uh, student governments. Um, Isaac Garcia, First Gen of uh, First Generation Initiatives. Um, Jermaine Gunnels, um, Assistant Director for Brother to Brother. 
and the new newest addition, uh, Chris DeRossier, assistant director, uh, associate director for Met Media, as well as Adrian Eastman, the assistant director of Met Media. Um, we at Steward Government, thank you. Um, we have your back, um, and you guys have ours. So thank you. Okay. Point would you see the, Would you recede the floor to the next item? Uh, yes, that's all. I have hey, that. hey, hey! No, 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 no! That was disrespectful. I understand where we're coming from, but you bespoke on behalf of the whole council. Do not include me in that because I am not part of said council that appreciates people who also call students liars. We do not. I do not associate with that. So do not put the whole council in there. And second of all. No one called them groomers, Michael. I said that you were being groomed. So get that straight before you out here just calling people. I mean, groomers. Okay, we're going to do a point of order right now. Thank you for clarifying that you are not part of the statement, Naomi. Michael, I'm done. We're I'm calling you. for the quorum right now. Thank you for giving your statement. Thank She's you. clarified that she is not part of your statement. Fair enough. And it is on the record. Fair enough. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, moving on to Seca. Kristen, would you like to start with your statement? I have a Gabe's on the chat and I will read it out loud, but I will give you the floor if you would like to start with your update. Perfect, thank you so much, Denny. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you, Kristen. Okay, perfect. Um, my update is going to be similar. It's pretty much the same as Abe's. We have our next meeting. Um, we just got sent the agenda for our next meeting. Um, we're excited, ready to go. Um, one thing that I did want to add, and Will can touch a little bit more on this um, if he wants to, just because it was another committee that I was on, um, the grade review committee. Uh, Will and I did um, get our determinations in. Um, I don't think we've heard yet if the committee is going to meet, but everyone's immediate determination uh, has been submitted for that committee. Thank you. Um, from Gabe, I have, uh, he's not here because he has to pick up his brother. Uh, but his second update is that they have our next meeting. Next, They have their next meeting next week. And on the 27th of September, they, he has his first ABOT meeting. And he apologizes for not being here. Bree, do you have anything on the visual? Hey. We'll get back to you. <laughs> Yeah. Regarding that, is it possible to ask her a question? Yes, one. Uh, just one. Um, would you know where? I know the advisor said something about this. Would you know where they're at with the process of coming up with a, some type of accountability or whatever process or you know what I'm trying to get at with. Everything that's been going on, we've been swamped, and I think with our absence, it's kind of taking a step back. Dr. Brown wasn't going to do it by herself, so um, <clears throat> now that I'm back for a good amount of time, we'll finally start working on that, but we have not. Okay. So not okay. <laughs> if in the meantime, I'll say, there are any concerns that you have about anything, no, we can meet, we can talk, and then we can present to our advisors because we don't at least to have the information so that we can work with them yeah. come up with some kind of regulation to get through things. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'd be happy to help that with them. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Happy you. to have you. Thank you. Our, bid, our budget committee chair is not here. Alejandro, anyone in the budget committee would like to give an update? I can give an update. So um, we passed our first thing to the budget committee. It was a $500 package. There was a sale going on in the bookstore. So we got a bunch of shirts, we got a bunch of lanyards, um, stuff to give out at events. So that's the first thing that they passed. And there's a $505 five, 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 five to the back there. So. Yeah. Thank you. Next, moving on to PR committee, Matt. Yeah, so we're getting ready for our two events next week Constitution Day and Fall Fest. Um, I think we're still waiting on the speakers for Constitution Day. Um, we've, we've received everything else, and it's already loaded up on a cart for Monday's event. Um, we still need to make sure which council members are going to be at these events next week, so we can make sure we're fully staffed. Um, in our budget committee meeting, um, we're talking about working on some uh, of our social media campaigns, 
um, and working with peer mentor groups to get a better pulse on the needs of campus. Um, I think that's about it right now. Thank you. Um, sustainability Committee, Naomi. I had a meeting this morning with Casey. Cassie, I need to get the clear pronunciation on her name. Um, so a project that Armando put me on um, and Matt, I think how was in the email was potentially getting um, more accessible vending machines for tampons and pads. And I think that's like a really important thing, especially for people who experience their periods um, on campus. So we were kind of discussing like what that project would look like through OpFlow, the cost of it, things like that. And then also um, she pointed out something uh, that the health center and the Phoenix Center, I do believe also have like a budget for free tampons and pads to be handed out throughout the school. So in the meantime, um, what I'm going to do is since we already have those resources, um, if we can manage to maybe potentially um, Ha approach this at like a, a less costly kind of um, approach. We're going to talk to the health center and somebody at the Phoenix Center and see how we can like potentially mass market uh, that information because not a lot of students know that. I didn't know that till recently. Um, so I think that that's something that we need to definitely kind of like post up on our social media for sure and try to like collaborate maybe with like the rec center and like maybe a bunch of other departments as well and have that post on their social media. Um, and then just maybe like make signs or something. We're gonna like, I'll collaborate, but that's just like some of the ongoing uh, conversation that we're having around it. Um, and then there's also um, a free store in Tivoli 346. So for those of us or those of us who do experience our periods, if for whatever reason, um, you know, we can't get access to, you know, those resources in time or whatever the reason may be, if you need a change of clothes, you can go up to Tivoli 346 and there is um, free clothes you can get there. So I think that it's a good idea to also market that. Um, and then she wants to come do a presentation with us on our agenda. We don't know how much time she'll need just yet um, due to some other in uh, in between things, that'll be October 20th is what I, when we're trying to get her on there. Um, and then, oh, there's also an event that they try to, they want us to potentially collaborate with and maybe show up and, um, you know, help out as much as we can, learn, give out resources, whatever it may be. It's called Hunger Homelessness Awareness, and it'll be in November the 13th, 14th, and 16th. Um, there's a gap day because of like event planning and stuff like that. So that's where that'll be. Um, and I think for sustainability, that is it. Real quick, I know we don't have a spot for this. So would we do some, so I have another update, but it's for a different kind of committee we haven't established yet. And I don't think that's on the agenda. Would we just do that during open floor? Yes, would you mind? Yeah, yeah that's right, cool. And that's Thank it. You. And I don't know if Paul has anything. I don't think Paul is present <laughs> taking his, uh, his cat to the to oh. the bed, but thank you. OK, I'm going to have Tone, uh, Tom go first and then I will have it just because he called for time first and then when he's done, he'll be on the stack. Thank you, Naomi. Tom, the floor is yours. OK, thank you. And first and foremost, I want to apologize for my like my uh, rather late entry of this point, but uh, up back, uh, the the University uh, Policy and Budget Advocacy Council met today. Um, they uh, they gave me a lot of enrollment data, right? So there's important factors here, like we have a 31 uh, percent of our like students that we don't retain every year, and we should put that into consideration with our like our uh, future work. They are going to consolidate a budget um for the 2024 fiscal year um they're going to do that for the next reading which is october 6th where they will also have a member of the ahec uh board for the budget there as well um yeah and they also gave me the uh, the information that students with uh, low gpas are more likely to not be retained by our campus so all uh, all worth consideration but yeah, that is a, that is all from my report. Thank you, Naomi. Uh, is this open floor? Yes. 
I don't well, have it in front of you, so, so. Okay, cool. Okay. So, um, Denny and I had a meeting on Monday about some uh, potential ways of going about our diversity event we wanted to bring many cultures together with. Uh, I had a couple meetings in between this week, and I'm going to go speak with, I had to find out how to, who to talk to in the dance department. So we're going to talk to them. Um, I have another connection. I unfortunately can't go see them until this weekend, but I will be working on that as well at the School of Breaking and to see what type of um, culturally diverse dancers they have at their, like in their network, I guess, um, to see how they can contribute. Um, and then I, oh, I have the sent out, I don't know if it's not an email, but I have a friend of a friend. And they're going to communicate with the, I, they have a different name now, but the Native United, Native and Indigenous United Dancers, or United Native and Indigenous Dancers. Um, and then also with the traditional, um, I don't, the Aztec dancers, I do believe as well. And then we'll see, we'll go from there. So that's a little ball we have, uh, I guess, in motion for that event. And that's all. Thank you. Uh, faculty, staff, senate. Do you have anything else? Oh, somebody. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Bree was next. But Kenny, you want to have a question? Oh no, I, I have another. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to, in the emails today, when we heard from Diane about the rec center and actions we are going to take, I had said back to her and replied to everyone that I'd be happy to ask if we could, if those who are interested in helping the rec center. If you want to help with events, like I know Naomi had some great ideas and Thomas as well for some event ideas that we could bring groups together for that purpose. Or maybe um, a group of us want to help with resolution where we write something and bring other parties together for that. And that would be something that would be presented to AHEC for the use and directed use um, to remain with the rec center for that space. So. I don't know how to do this except to ask if you'd like, you know, to be on either of those. I told Diane in the email that you'll see that I would get names together and then, you know, hopefully there can be some action after that instead of just sitting and nothing happens. Okay. Uh, Thomas, is this a direct comment to that? Yes, I just also wanted to, uh, to uh, raise myself as someone who is uh, interested in working on this further. So. Wonderful. Do you think events yeah. or the resolution working on the writing or both? Yeah, I can uh, I can honestly help with both. Wonderful. Thank you. So um, yeah, I'll back. email you after. Okay, hey, thank you. So then well, I want to be a part of it, but would you be able to be like the one to meet or something so we can meet sure. next week or two? Absolutely, absolutely. And Naomi, are you still interested in this too for the events? <laughs> um, can you say that one more time? Sorry, I'm in between the rec center. with the what? And we were, with the we rec met, center and present. Yes, for the rec center, some being involved in and in, in helping organize events, uh, or, you know, to promote the space, better promote the space. I will say that I will contribute where I can when I can but I currently cannot help with a lot. So just communicate with me your needs and um, I will be transparent about if I can fulfill those or contribute to helping with them um, at those given times. Does that sound okay? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, question. Okay. So uh, involving the rec center, CCD rec center has a swimming pool and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and so. Will we? You you mean see you Denver? See Denver. Yes, yeah. thank you. As a pool, uh, can we start some conversation or something about us being able to collab and utilize that space to work out? Because our center doesn't have a pool, and they have a pool. And so my understanding, just briefly, is that if we wanted to visit that campus, we would pay ten dollars. Uh, to, for the one day stay or whatever. Could something be worked out where maybe something's added to tuition or something to have access to that? That's part of the their rec center. We could definitely start that conversation. If you want to lead it, we will support you on finding some common ground. Oh, okay. Sure. Yes. For sure. Okay. So, okay. Who's, who's in my stack? I wasn't looking at who, who was first. Just real quick. Okay. Uh, uh, I would assume that it would fall 
with three, right? All well, that. And all I'm trying to do is organize things, not take charge. Right, of them all, right. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a conversation we have with Diane, right? To yeah. see what's possible and if, if they can help get behind it too or not. No, you make squinchy face. Huh? No, you're good. Uh, you're good. <laughs> okay. No, that's totally good. okay. <laughs> all right. So anyway, we'll work on that. And John, I'll talk to you. Okay. As well. it's cool. We're settled. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Well, can you have us on an announcement? Yeah. Um, so this is just some office uh, housekeeping stuff. So with the recent uh, passing of the uh, budget resolution, um, I will, you know, next week be on the lookout of just some forms that I send out if you need office supplies or snacks for the office in general. Uh, let me know your name, what you want, how much, and if you can give a price estimate, and then I will run that with Alejandro um, next time he's gonna, you know, pass a vote with him. Thank you, Kenny. Okay. Anybody else on open announcements? Awesome. We will move with the faculty and staff senate. John, do you have something? Yes. I don't know if the man's name escapes me. He sent me an email. Luke Johnston. Who? Johnston. Johnston? Yes. Mayor okay. Johnston of Denver. John Johnston. I think it's John. Michael Johnson, excuse me. Okay, you could be right. I'll just say yes. <laughs> so he sent me an email and said that the meetings haven't started yet. So that's why I haven't been approved. Okay. So as soon as he, he says he apologizes, oh, he'll get back to me. And as soon as he lets me know, then we'll start. Thank you. Um, for my side, on the, um, the faculty senate, there's a lot going on still with the curriculum and the clarify, clarifying of the numbers with the D minus times credit. And, um, they're still working on it. Uh, but what I am proposing to us is one of our council members is coming with a resolution for us to table regularly. And I would like to throw in uh, a tabling resolution from uh, or just update students and faculty uh, Senate stuff. Um, they did ask there's the whole with the whole thing with the credit with the 39 credit or the 42 because credit numbers are, are weird. They would like us to gather some feedback from the students to see what their students would like. Those of us that those of us that are undergrads only are only taking. 40 credits or less. That is all for me. Oh, Whoa, okay. Well, Jonathan, how we, how do they want us to want to us to interview students individually? And ask them about that. How I they... am not sure yet. I am coming up with it. Uh, this meeting happened two days ago, but we, yeah, I need to find it, uh, an efficient method, and that's why I think tabling regularly would be the best idea. One of the things that I've done. Hold on, excuse me. Is that okay? Yes. Go ahead. Well, I was kind of going to echo, I think, what you were just referencing, that we can come up with some sort of like survey to have like a QR code or something at all the table events. Mm -hmm. um, is it really a that maybe Fall Fest? Probably. I think that would be, that's like a timeline. Go ahead, John. So, since Matt was talking about the survey, one of the things I do when I want to reach students, I make a YouTube video. And I have access to at least 85 phone numbers of students that I've communicated with. Once I make the video, I send it out to those students and then they start sending it to the other. So if we're going to do the survey thing, if that happens, then I can make a quick video about the survey to tell people about it. And they'll start talking because I like to use technology more efficiently rather than trying to flag down person to person on another email. Okay. Will you be willing to talk to the PR community yeah. outside of the meeting? Yeah. So you guys, if you guys will, would like to work on our solution, let's talk. Let's talk logistics outside of the meeting. Because there is absolutely. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then we'll yeah. have something. Well, I'll wait for my my turn to speak for the committee. Okay. Well. Anybody else that has any questions? Yeah. Well, uh, Paul is not here for the Dino Council, and then I have Will on the Transitional Leaders Committee. Awesome. Um, first off, thank you everyone who's present here today. Um, there's no new updates specifically with tri the other SGAs or the other Tri-Institutional Leaders, um, but I did want to bring up a few things while I have this time. That's not us. Okay. Um, so I talked to the director 
of auxiliary services. He is the gentleman who's in charge of making sure all the students have IDs and, you know, he works with RTD and all this. Um, and for Constitution Day, I was thinking of for the raffle for the students is ask two main questions. The first one being, do you have your ID? And the second question would be, um, follow us. Well, it's not really a question, just like, you know, asking them to follow us for Instagram purposes for student government so they can be up to date. But um, going back to the conversation I had with the director is he told me that there's this wonderful program from RTD. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. And basically anyone who's 19 and under gets a free pass and whatnot. So I was thinking of using the tabling event, the constitution tabling event to <laughs> promote this. Um, if there are other things or surveys you guys want to propose, then we should definitely add that into the tabling events. And the person who's writing this bill for the tabling events has already considered all these things, the stuff you guys are talking about, surveys and whatnot, that is already in the bill. So just to clarify all that. Okay. Um, yes, but oh, sorry, excuse me. Thank you, Michael. Um, just want to make sure are you going to take charge and make that quick little survey for Monday. The what? The survey you just referenced. Are you going to take charge and make that for Monday? How about we work on it together? Okay. Is that something you're willing to do? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Any other things? more? Uh, yes, I do. So uh, I did have a wonderful meeting with a lot of the deans, Will Simpkins, Dr. Mora. A lot of important staff for the student implementation um, meeting. And they basically want us to come up with specific goals for this semester for them to look at. Um, I recommend we keep it under five goals, something that's feasible to do within the semester, not just the semester, but the year. And present, and I will present that to them. Whatever we come up with, um, that is, of course, a discussion we can have during this meeting or table it for later. He does not require it for next week. Question? Yeah, that's okay. Are these goals for students to reach for, or us to for the university to bestow on students, or what? Are, what kind of goals are you thinking? Well, I'm so glad, glad you asked, Rick, because I was about to touch on that. <laughs> oh, um, okay. No, you're good. Just, just a heads up. It is one o'clock for public comments. We'll keep going. But if someone shows up for public comments, we'll have to. OK, thank you. These goals have to be aligned with student success in the sense of keeping students in school, um, recruiting students as well, so recruiting keeping them in school, making sure they graduate and also post uh, if there's any postgraduate goals to keep students in school with MSU. Their goal is to retain students as much as possible. And from my meeting there, Will Simpkins, and I will paraphrase, I can't directly quote what he's what he said, but it is his top priority of things at school, at the school level. So and the president is also working very closely with this committee, with all the deans and the staff and faculty. And so I think it's a very important uh, tool for us to use and get the student voice out there on this committee. Because <laughs> again, they're coming to the board of trustees with whatever solutions. And if we give them solutions that help the student, then I think that'd be the most beneficial way of getting things done. Um, that being said, I know Denny works really closely with the staff, the yeah. faculty, and we can work together too to talk about those things, like how you were saying about the surveys. That was something I suggested to them during that meeting. And so if we get together on the same page, I think we can definitely make stuff uh, happen. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about that? Okay. Oh. I do have someone in public mm -hmm. comment, so I'm going to leave Dana. So, yeah, we just do that. Yes, sir. Okay. Awesome. I feel the need to stand for this, and I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to make a public comment. 
Uh, my name is Senna Bryant. Most of you guys already know who I am. I'm a former uh, TSAC member and a current employee of CMEI. Um, and I just wanted to come here today to give some advice of knowledge from past experiences and also to come again as a student employee um, for CMEI. Uh, the advice that I would like to share with everybody here is to be very, very, very mindful of the language that you guys use and present when in these meetings and also when communicating with other students. Um, particularly if you do not know of all of the information or are getting secondhand information or anything of that nature, when we're passing this off or you're talking to other people, like we've all played the telephone game and we know that sometimes things can get lost in translation or misunderstood or any of that. And those uh, actions do have consequences in the long run and can also make things way more complicated and difficult and more stressful in an environment where it really shouldn't be that way. We already have enough to deal with as students um, as it is during you know, classes and all of that stuff that we don't need to have our student leaders also causing unnecessary issues that shouldn't be present. Um, as an employee of CMEI, I have been there since before. Um, it was known as CMEI. I was there as, when it was student activities. And I have to say that this organization has been one of the most beneficial um, opportunities that I have ever had an opportunity to be a part of. Um, I have also been with them where, through many transitions and leaderships and challenges. And there's been all kinds of amazing people. Armando has been awesome as well. <laughs> Just throwing you a shout out. But um, I've been with so many leaders and directors that have come through and they've all brought some awesome unique um, qualities to the table but more specifically i would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to our director dr dr tan Nguyen. i have never known of any director in cmei to bend over backwards jump through flaming hoops navigate alligator infested waters just for students to help them and be there and support for them as well and she does it all with a smile on her face and a great energy that it makes going into that office like a second place from home absolutely i have been with them since 2018 and i have absolutely refused to leave this place because of how amazing cmei is um and i just wanted to say that and thank you guys for the opportunity and thank you Thanks. There's a comment online. Is there anyone online? Oh. Uh, are you guys here for public comments? Um, I'm here to sit in with you all. Oh, this is coming our, in. Coming in. This is our CCD student government. Beautiful. Uh, um, Mike, what do you, I mean, sorry, Will. Uh, some pieces. Like <laughs> we just had our SGA meeting. We have cheese. Thomas says, well, too. I love CCD. It's very good. That is <laughs> that's that's fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, hold on. Let him settle. All right. Hey, Leo. Real quick, there was one last thing I want to mention. Uh, there are a few meetings that I cannot attend for this student uh, success implementation uh, discourses. And um, I talked to Will Simpkins about it, and we do need someone there. So I know I brought this up already, and no one answered, so I'm bringing it up again. Uh, please do not look at this as something you have to do or extra work. See it as an opportunity to implement more permanent change and networking with uh, the deans and uh, higher staff of the administration. Thank I think, you. Kristen, I have a direct response to you. Kristen? Uh, yes. Uh, I just had a quick question. What are the dates and times of the meeting that you can't attend? Because as long as they fit in my schedule, I'm more than happy to take them off your hands. So those dates and times, I will pull them up, but they I posted those in the chat. So if you go to the chat and look them up, you. I will also after the reading, I will look. There's up. three meetings. Okay. Yes. I will look after the meeting and if I can attend one, I commit myself to attending one. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. Um, anybody has any questions on that? Um, 
Yes. So Dr. Brown just wanted a message. Her son's getting married today, so that's why she's not here. Um, it is important to let us know. Yeah, it's all very important. Um, it's important to let us know. Please loop us in when you are start emailing, or you are emailing, or just communicating with senior leaders. Um, I know Denny, Mike, Matt, a good amount of y'all have had some communication with senior leadership. Um, just keep us in the loop. We have found sometimes, you know, depending on the issue that we've been kept out of the loop and we'd rather not because sometimes we're already working on pushing something and then, you know, instead of doubling down on work, we can just work together. So if you are communicating, just, you know, CC us um, just so we are in the loop is all we ask. Um, I do want to say thank you to um, all the counselors for continuously their work. Um, I know I've been gone for the last couple weeks and not starting fires and burning a house down, but you know, the gas is on. So let's make sure that we uh, we were continuing the good development and the good path that we were on beforehand and make sure we're advocating for students. I do want to talk to um, each of y'all kind of individually and kind of map out. So something I want to try this year is kind of map out how we want to attack our advocacy work. So really make sure that we can put our best foot forward and you know, communicate and get things done rather than just putting them in our share like we did last year. Mm -hmm. So let's make sure that we're working together. So good job on those who are making progress um, on the different initiatives that have been going on. But other than that, I think that's all for me. Okay. Unless there's any questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome, are you part of the part of your crew? Yes. Yeah, okay, awesome. <laughs> Um, we have anyone else? We're still oh, Well, real quick. Um, I'd like to mention this as also a broader statement, but also uh, directing it towards you. Um, as we talked earlier, uh, the trip to DC won't be feasible this time around, but I'm looking at something next year in spring. And so I want everyone in the council to know that I am working on something with that and we'll get back with you guys with more information. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. 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 okay, I will keep going. We are going to move on to old business. I know you have so many exciting updates for me about yeah. this. So Yay. go ahead. Okay. Yes, well, sir. Did you oh. say public comments? Yeah, we're still in public comments. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So uh, we're from Community College in Denver. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, so, um, so nice you're here. I'm Leo. I'm a president of Student Body at Community College. Uh, today we have uh, our vice president. We have our secretary. And um, we also have a student representative that may have went to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask about the uh, commencement day. Um, did anyone get to talk to Danny and did anything get set up for us to uh, be there? Because if not, we're still wanting to be there. Um, um, Monday 18th, uh, 11 to 3. But um, my apologies for giving our advisor your number. Mm -hmm. um, Michael. Oh, you're good. Um, yeah. And Will. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he reached out to you all. Um, did that happen? Do you have a constitution? Constitution. Day? Day. Yeah, uh, constitution day. Yeah. Um, I have not been reached out to you or anything. For that, again, we are, like I said, previous meetings, we're tabling with the other two SGAs that day. Yeah. So it shouldn't be anything that we don't know about. Oh, yeah. but did he reach out to you all? Because uh, he wasn't here today. Uh, we had no advisors at our meeting today. Mm -hmm. So we had an unofficial meeting. So I didn't get to talk to him to see uh, were we on board with it. We're on board as the students, but I don't know if the advisors reached out to you all so we can't set up anything. No, no, I didn't get any information from any of your advisors. Okay, I did give them the information. I thought I would have, so now I know what's going on. But at the very minimum, we will still meet together that day and table together. Yeah, sweet. So, I'm down. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Leo. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Yumi. So I'm a graduate student assistant at CU Denver at the CII. So like um, CU Denver's version of CMEI, right? Um, and I can't make it to CU Denver's meeting right now because they're having their SGA. So I decided to drop by here. Nice. Um, thank you. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm technically on shift, so to just like bounce out. But um, with the new campus ID scanning, policy. I wasn't sure if that meant like students could scan to each other's buildings because 
I work with a lot of student clubs at CU, um, and a couple of the officers are actually from Metro. So I just wanted to like put that there, like um, once that goes to the back in October, right? Um, just making sure that Metro students could like still access CU buildings, like vice versa. I don't think that's going to be able to happen. I think the, the buildings are locked to whoever uses those buildings. So unless it's the shared buildings, and even then, I think it's going to go off your schedule or kind of like your work access and things like that. So I don't think like the yeah, residents are like, I don't know who I had access before, but I doubt we'll be able to mm -hmm. access this space. Yeah, I think I'm on the stack and then you'll, oh, you're good. Go ahead. Bob. So I talked to the director who's in charge of all that for like AHEC. Yeah. And I have his card if you want to directly ask him that. He will definitely give you all the information that you need. Okay. Surely there can be exceptions and you can specifically ask for things. Yeah. 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 No, because like, yeah, there's just like a lot of like intermixing of this, of the campus body. So it is. <laughs> Separate our schools too much. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'll take the. All right. Cool. <laughs> no, except the safety stuff. Okay. okay. Are we, any, anybody else? We're going to public comment? Okay. Okay. All right. So we had talked about um, some sort of safety event and what that would look like, you know, because we were, everybody seemed very keen to have some kind of thing in this regard, although safety means a lot of things to different people. So, um, Senna. And I met with Taylor Tackett early was it this week, I think. And um, we discussed focusing on one specific aspect where maybe active shooter or harm, harmer kind of drills and training for that. And so there, we know there's safety events happening on campus by AHEC this month, a series of things. And there are also small events that can, you know, continually students can sign up for and faculty as well with AHEC directly. But what we talked about was a possible week long series of events that we could test out for spring term at the start of spring term. And then hopefully it could be something that would be continued for the beginning of fall term around orientation. But it might look like our conversation was having active shooter you know, training, um, having another kind of training that could be skills to de-escalate. And Taylor mentioned, he's done a lot of studying on this nationwide, that you know, young people entering college now, they are really conflict avoidant. And so they don't have the skills to work through things like this and know exactly what to do. Everybody's been taught the run, hide, fight, and that's really it. So I think where we'd wanna start then, aside from that is maybe the TSAC could have take part in this fall with the um, active shooter harm type workshop for ourselves, as well as then maybe a skills to de-escalate type training too. And then kind of feel what that's like and then be able to work on the event itself for spring. So if everybody's keen to kind of be part of that, that is something that I'm happy to report back to Taylor on. Yes, sir. I like your idea mm -hmm. the escalation mm -hmm. because it, if we're spending oh, yeah. so much time, this is a commuter campus. Yes. The dangerous thing that I see about all this over security stuff is going to activate reasons not to be on campus. And we really want to have people to come to campus and sure. not be in Project Lockdown. Sure. So I'm on board. All right, John. Yeah. You're on there. Okay. Okay. That'll be great. And sure. I'm done. Do you want well, to have that? Okay. Well, yeah. well, what I'm about to say might end whatever comment you have. So please go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going <laughs> to actually shoot out a motion to actually create a safety committee. There you go. Okay. Is that what you were going to say? Well, similarly. Right? <laughs> okay. Well, would you like to add something? I motion we, I don't know if this is an idea, but I motion we vote now on this. So we, you can get an answer back sure. soon, since most of us are here. And, so. so you're motioning to add a safety committee, or are to you moving? vote on her? Uh, on, like if we agree, oh, yeah. oh, okay. do this. Oh, yeah. can, I, can I read from what you're trying to say? 
Yeah. Sure, go for so, it. So um, the motion is that we, as TSAC, accept this event mm -hmm. and its form, and it will go to the PR committee for further development. Mm -hmm. um, but then this will give you access to funds and this will give you access to resources as well. So now that's not just the, it's on paper, it's actually in committee now and it can be voted on. Right. I'd like to add, if this is yeah, okay too, that as a part of this, the training, training yeah. for TSAC members Sorry. this term might be a piece of this. Yeah, absolutely. For ourselves. So the training and stuff, that would be great. So before, before we motion, uh, Kristen, Kristen, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to second Will and Mike's motion. Oh, well, then let's vote. <laughs> <laughs> OK, everybody in favor or of taking this event as a TFAC event, say aye. 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 Any, any objections? Any, uh, anyone abstains? Any abstentions? Yeah. No. Beautiful, it passes. I have so, more to talk about, if that's OK. Yeah. 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 But now we we're, I, go ahead. That's great. Did so, I get a mine? uh huh. Did I get a second for the safety committee though? Oh. Hmm? Are you motioned to make a safety committee? Yeah. I could see like a safety task force. Or task force. Ooh, I like that. That'd be a little better because like an ad hoc task force. We have a lot of committees. Uh, like we can do like a task force or something. And okay. like, I think three would be great to have that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Are you, and Alejandro, maybe I could do it jointly with oh, yeah, him because he expressed interest in helping lead this. Yeah, absolutely. So I'd like to. Okay. So I guess the motion would be to create a safety task force. Yeah. Yes. I second the motion. Sure. Let's. Okay. Hold on. I'd like to have something. I'll say to a point we and Alejandro as we consider the task force and collaboration to be the better. Yeah. That is a motion. Sorry. You have to say it. I can't. Okay. And the motion I seconded it. So well, can you say the motion again, please? I motion to create a safety task force, and the chairs of the safety task force would be Re and Alejandro. Okay, I second that. Okay. No oh, vote. beautiful. All who agree, say aye. 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 Wait, Re, aye. are you wait? Re, are you accepting this? Sure. Okay. Oh. Okay. I know Alejandro, and we can do it together. So okay. that'll be really great. It's always nice when people share the bird. And Senna's going to be helping us. I love it. Any opposed? Yeah. Anyone opposes? Any abstentions? I abstain. Hey, oh, thank you, Thomas. Okay. Uh, well, we have a new task force, and then the floor is yours, three. One more thing I'd like us to vote on now. It's a very simple thing, but we talked briefly, uh, a few of us in the office, about um, creating a QR code. I don't know when our business cards are going to get made, so this is why I wanted to bring this up now, but we talked in our meeting about on the reverse side of our business cards, we pay for two-sided printing and have a QR code. So whether it's the general TSAC um, <coughs> card or uh, individual cards, where there'd be a series of, as Matt had said, like a link tree for a number of classes on student complaints, care reports, the crisis center, conflict resolution, and the Phoenix Center. So emergencies, you know, those kind of things would be important and then instead of having phone numbers, it's easy for students to be able to click that. So for the business cards, and then we can talk through in our task force about future, maybe we do a key keychain or something that's a giveaway for students as well. So I just wanted to put this out here in case business cards are going to be printed anytime soon. I didn't want to miss that boat. So I don't know if this is for Armando or. No, I can make the business cards, that's no problem. Uh, the only thing I'd ask is that we, whoever's going to be in charge, are we going to link the link tree? Because mm. I can QR the link tree mm -hmm. and then y'all make sure to update that so I'm not okay. changing too many QRs. And that's where link tree would be really great. Yes. Then, so we have, a, we have a link tree already, I'm pretty sure, right? On the website? On the, on the now screen. we can recreate a new one John, for this specific. Did you finish? No, yeah. Oh, this is a perfect example of what you are talking about. Yeah. Um, student I was travel. with uh, the student travel to <laughs> development, and they already got it set. So if you're talking to somebody and drinking, here, click this. It's done. <laughs> okay, so we are. Do you want to make a motion or us adding a treat link and a QR with a treat link to a business card? To a business cards and other, you know paraphernalia and this will be run back through the organism through the group through yes. the PR committee and the safety task force but okay. I just wanted to jump ahead in case things were printed I didn't want to miss that okay cool so we're making a motion 
so that we develop a QR code with a link tree with um, resources for cri and for crises. Oh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think we need a motion that simply no. that falls under the PR committee in the Constitution. Okay. So I believe you just have to, you're in charge of awesome. reach events, our marketing. So you don't have to, we don't have the motion. Okay. Okay. So thanks, Mike. Yes. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Reed. Thank you. Nice job, Reed. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're moving to new business. You're up, Will. Awesome. So, again, as I stated a little bit earlier, just an overview of what uh, the student success launch implementation team is. Um, I'd like to propose a discussion between all the counselors present, uh, either in person and online, about what we could potentially propose to them as goals, not just the goals that we came up with, because again, this is more oriented for recruitment and um, retention and graduation purposes so let's let's try to shift those goals goals excuse me towards that that end do you want ideas now or what do you say i say we i've got an idea we all can... right now while we're oh. all here and then we can potentially table this if we don't come to anything during this meeting and maybe maybe even talk offline as well. No, and we can do this. I just ask because last week we got very excited about watermelons and ideas about watermelons. So all that I ask is that we please do not talk on top of each other. Okay. Is that okay? Okay, Bree is going to go next. I have um, an idea that I I think would be helpful in all those respects for recruitment, engagement, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's a it's a series of events promoted and sponsored by the president's office by student affairs and it can be like an exponent of the month so we have thought leaders in the world um, names that people recognize in the different departments or in the professional world whether it's science or journalism or whatever mm -hmm. and they come and give special um, talks to the student body and so whether it's for the department itself or it's the the um, university at large and it's like a series where they have really top-notch speakers coming and it's going to you know it'll cost a little bit of money that's for sure but if if their resources are pooled this could be something that could be an attention grabber for the school interesting for the students um you know I think it can go lots of places. Right. So, go ahead. Uh, does I would say if anyone is opposed to that, um, I'm not opposed to that idea. But I don't know if anyone else is to something I can put on a document and send it to them. All I ask is we would need to condense that. I can write that up for you. Would you yeah. let me to? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just more digestible. Sure. I would say. That's right. More abstract than yeah. specifics sure. and of what you said can fall into that. Exactly. Absolutely. I'll write that up and send it. Thank you. Any other ideas? I, I, I think we should be really focused. Oh, yeah, sorry, I had mm -hmm. mind. We should be really focusing on students' academic proficiency mm -hmm. uh, because that's a lot of what we feel like we turn like sometimes we feel like we don't belong in academia because we feel like we don't have the skills or that this is not for us and it college is challenging it's supposed to be challenging um i i can uh, i do not have a concrete idea right now on how to convey that but um, mm -hmm. i think we should be focusing on students academic proficiency and capital and what they bring into the classroom and what the material that they feel comfortable with and capturing Oh. Yes, sir. Sorry. So feedback on that. I have brought this idea up a while back, but I want to revisit it. The Tivoli Student Union is very student union less on the weekend. We have the AHAC and, and how AHAC rents out places and stuff. And there have been times in the past when I've come and the police have met me and said, no, you're not able to come up in here because there's been a wedding going on. So I have a proposal that 
we start that that room that's next to um what is that room where we lounge at on the second floor it's like the student lounge multicultural lounge no yeah, yeah, yeah. the other one on the other turn end. turn hill yeah in that in that area oh, that lounge that we start having access, students have access to the building on the weekends and then during exams, maybe 24 hour access. So students can come in, because sometimes students won't want to um, actually study at home. And by this being a community campus, you have a place to get away and kind of get your thoughts in order. To make the Tibley Student Union really the student union, because it's not like that. Well, if I, if I may, oh wait, does, oh wait, Kristen, go ahead, I will. Or is this, does anyone have a direct comment to what John I, said? I do. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, so what I'm understanding in more abstract terms is uh, more, I don't know if this is the right way to put it, more uh, representation for student orgs. Access. More access. Not, not orgs. Um, for students in general, because then he talked about academic performance. So just saying that, now we have to have a way for us to excel in our academics. And location is the issue. Some people live with uh, people in the snow ways. Some people are constantly working and in their environment, their environment at home is too distracting, the cell phone, the TV, the video games. Mm -hmm. At least having this place as an access where you can excel on your academics or just chill. Sometimes if you go somewhere, you have a moment to just be, then when you come back online, you will make the appropriate decisions that work best for you. Response? Yeah. So not, so student access, not student org? No, this is all students okay. here. I mean, okay. Yeah, so just okay. places for us to study. Yes, okay, got it. Okay. Thank you. Kristen, you're up. Okay, perfect. So just really quickly, I wanted to um, like tack on to what John was saying, obviously as the uh, CACAB rep, um, like even just based off of the first meeting we had, we talked a lot about student spaces and how AHEC prioritizes like renting out different spaces. Um, so if we choose to go in that direction for our goals and everything, I think that would be a great thing to um, pass on to Gabe and I, because we can we can do a lot with that. Um, that is the end of my direct comment. This is now directly at Will's thing. Um, just show everybody's tracking. Um, so I, I think one of one of the things like specifically for retention this kind of builds off of what re said earlier but i feel like on campus we don't have a whole lot of like departmental awareness of like what kinds of degrees we have because i run into a lot of people that are extremely shocked that my degree is flying airplanes and i get a lot of people being like oh man if only i had known that was a degree i totally would have done that um so i and i can help set this up with the department heads in the aviation program um, but like we have millions of dollars worth of simulators in the aviation building that would be cool to give people tours of and let people like get some hands on experience with um, to help um, draw people in and maybe like if people are feeling stuck in their degrees help them by like seeing all the cool options and resources because um, honestly we have a lot of super cool programs at Metro and I think that just a little bit more awareness surrounding them could be a really awesome idea. Thank you Kristen. John, do you have a direct comment on this? Yes, this, this is a short story. In order to prevent retention, we have to change attention. So the attention has to be on newer things. So, like I said, the space and all other kind of stuff. Because we wouldn't have retention, we wouldn't have retentive situations if the campus wasn't more fun and, and more access to information and things that we need. Because that website that we have, it you almost have to take a training class to really navigate through that. That's all over the place. Thank you. Go ahead. Direct comments on what Kristen said. So if in layman's terms, um, it would be student awareness, right? Of uh, uh, services of MSU Denver services, or how would you phrase that? For, to Go be. Ahead, yeah. 
I guess like, I don't know, I would probably phrase it more as like awareness surrounding um, programs. Um, Cause again, I don't, I don't know if you guys all know, but you can get like your drone certification through the aviation department. And there's a lot of like really cool things. So I think if we could have departments kind of like what Ree was saying, where they set up like showcases, things outside of the website to help get information out about the cool things that they're doing. Cause we have a lot of insanely cool programs here that I just don't think students are aware of. I think that's an extremely valid point. Great. So as another big idea and Kristen, I was going to raise my hand before you said this. So I love that you said all this, but when I lived in New Zealand, um, the high schools offered continuing education courses at night for the public. And so I took mosaics, I took um, woodworking, I took all these different classes. You know, our faculty is not well paid and neither are adjunct professors, right? We, why limit it to students? Although I can see the, you know, the attraction of doing something for students, but my idea is some kind of community or continuing education series that happens evenings or and weekends and they'd be maybe small couple hour courses or things the people teaching these type of events or sharing their knowledge people would pay for these you know small courses that you take a series of classes like art student league of denver but it could be you know, a drones course or, oh, they have that already. So is it well promoted? I don't know. And then this could be whether they're smaller bite-sized things in all the different departments, whether it's art or, you know, like Kristen, like you're saying, the aviation or, you know, industrial design. My son's taking mechanical engineering and he's an aerospace major and he's really loving it. He's never taken this before. So some kind of thing where, it's not just students, it's the public and, you know, Armand is that maybe it's that, but it's not well promoted and we can have a whole new energy around this. And it's something that not only would people teaching these courses benefit from this extra, but our student body and then the surrounding community. That's it. Uh, can I have Will? Oh, okay. He's going to directly respond to that and then I'll have you. Okay. I'm a little confused just as a direct response i'm a little confused by what you mean by public open to they, you public. don't have to be a registered student to take part in this so it, it lifts the campus the awareness of what's offered on campus okay it could be anybody coming in and i guess maybe that's what's all is it already offered armando for anyone to just join without being a registered student that you're here every term okay. you just can cherry pick things that you're interested in to yeah it's not free it's of course it's paid for but they're smaller more attainable okay terms, yeah. so, so maybe that could be expanded or whatever you're talking about more awareness around those services all okay, kinds of well i'm trying to maybe there's a nutrition course you want to take and you know there's a, a small series you can take you're not a university student but you're interested in finding out about um, I, taking a nutritional course. May I interject? Just yes, I go. Think there's a confusion oh. here. I think I think Will's confusion comes from like his perspective. It's only like student success yes. and like retention. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he, I think he wants you to clarify how does this help us retain students? That's his question. Because as Kristen had said, there are students that say, I didn't know we did this and I could do that certification for the drone course. Mm -hmm. So it would be not, it would be for the student body as well as the community. Mm -hmm. So it can't hurt to do something where you're inviting the community to take part too, yeah. you know? I think so. She's just one happier people, as we're just telling you. She just wants <laughs> happier students. Yeah. And, and just the all. breadth of what's offered here for mm -hmm. more people to know about it. Thank you, I do have John in the stack mm -hmm. and then I'll just how that also can be promoted too is when we have events to talk about 
um, other classes. Because an example, a student's going here and then their mother knows about the night course or the evening course. Now she's going and she's talking about MSU. That might even increase the success of the student because now we've got relatives going to school. Now that you all can talk about it, you're getting excited about school. It's not like you're on this path all by yourself and your family is left in the boondocks. So that's a good idea. And it could be announced more at the functions that we have. When we're giving out the cookies and the cups, did you know about night classes? Have you thought about this? That can be advertised that way. Yeah, Jarvis, that correct response? Just to both what John and Ria said. I think as a separate point, it shouldn't be made a separate point, but I think it should be integrated into what yeah. Kristen was saying. I don't yeah. I don't think there was a you're all agreeing. Okay. You're all agreeing. Yeah. You're awesome. all agreeing too. Matt. So there's an initiative that I've been working with Thomas on before I even joined the council. Mm -hmm. Um they think is relative to a lot of what's been said. Mm -hmm. Is I'm working with another student, um, and it's gonna be probably a year or two long kind of project of creating a resource after campus. And the main point is to try and integrate and highlight a lot of the more hidden gems on campus resources and make it more search friendly. Okay. So, That's awesome. Yeah. I have one that I think uh, certain members and myself would appreciate that we uh, put forward is, I think food, food insecurity should still be one. Um, again, as other counselors have pointed out, if you're worried about your next meal, then it makes it really hard to focus on school. Sure. Do I have a, can I have a direct? Sure. Um, we've talked about this before, and if you could propose for them to throw salt money at giving us vouchers or do something about more healthy food mm -hmm. in our cafeteria options, I think. That would be great because your second brain is in your stomach. Right. Yeah. That's food insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. John. Actually, Matt, okay, before uh, mine's semi direct ish. Um, also, with the stuff we've talked about, partially with the transitional mm -hmm. uh, meetings, uh, it's the EBT aspect too. Mm -hmm. Be able to use EBT on campus somewhere. Oh, oh. oh. friends, I'm, I'm unfortunately we can not allow. Yeah. But if you're after me, you want to talk to us. I will. You talk to him. Uh, uh, no, I, I know what he's gonna say. So. <laughs> well, I have John. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You wanna you wanna knock it out? Go. I wait. Thank you, John. Uh, that's something like, well, if I remember because I presented it, but um. That's something me and well, Leo brought to the tri institutional meeting. I think that's what he was going to get at. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, that's it. So, with the food insecurity thing, I, thought, I thought I found out that MSU does not support the Riley's Corn at all and does not give any money to it, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, I'm also under the understanding we're talking to one of the employees there, because it's not being funded by MSU and whatever funding that they receive has started to dry up. And so supplies are getting low and some things are about to be cut off. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. Direct response. As counselors, we can write up bills that can provide funding for those institutions. So if that's something you want to bring to the table, Please be uh, more than willing to write that, that bill up. And I would uh, also look over it at it, depending. Okay. I'll do that. Okay, but if I, sorry, do you have to, where you, no. I think on his side that, that maybe you should be asking our higher up what is up with Roddy's plan. Oh, no, from for sure. Their end. 100%. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anybody else? Yeah. Um, we are last last comment. Promise. Go ahead. I have five points on here, and I wanted to make sure that we're somewhat or all on the same page. Hopefully, I have the, again. These are layman terms of what I've heard. Guest speakers for Marie. Uh, of course, we can talk about 
oh, right. elaborating, you know, writing it better. Uh, second point, student proficiency from Denny. Uh, access for all students. I forgot who, oh, John, right. Um, and then awareness of services that MSU Denver provides. Um, that was Kristen. And then my last one that I put forward, uh, food insecurity. Those are five. And I think that five points is, or five goals is good for now. Yeah. Well, I'm going to write up the community development thing for you too. Thank you. To expand on both of those and email it to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Go get them. Mm -hmm. Go get them. Yes, we will. Okay. Um, that is our only item of new business. I have a motion to adjourn this one. I second that. Any, uh, every, all of those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Any objections? Any abstentions? Beautiful. Let's adjourn the meeting. Sorry. Good work. This is a real cute, interesting meeting. They see the move a lot forward. Because sometimes there's more talking than there's acting.